Welcome to Faith and Freedom. For the next few minutes, we hope to inform, inspire, and encourage you as we discuss the legal victories and challenges to your fundamental freedoms and religious liberties. Faith and Freedom comes to you from Liberty Council, a civil liberties education and legal defense organization. Join us now as Matt Staber, the President and General Counsel of Liberty Council, explains the latest legal issues all across this country in the courtrooms of America. Liberty Council is winning the battle for your constitutional freedoms. City of Lynchburg, Virginia, signs on to Liberty Council's 8th Annual Day of Purity Proclamation. I'm Matt Barber, Director of Cultural Affairs with Liberty Council and Associate Dean with Liberty University School of Law. And joining me in studio, this time behind the microphone, is Amber Haskew, who is Communications Director for Liberty Council and Day of Purity coordinator and amber you're usually uh working the board and sitting behind uh, uh the scenes but today i want to talk with you about a project that you have taken the lead on uh with liberty council the day of purity Pro- proclamation explain a little bit about what the day of purity proclamation is and tell us a little bit about uh the exciting news that lynchburg virginia the city has actually signed on to it Sure. Well, thank you so much for having me on. I'm really excited about this Day of Purity. Basically, it is the opportunity for students and for youth across the nation and and really across the world to stand up and to celebrate purity. And so it gives people that maybe don't have that opportunity or that venue or that the reason to stand up and celebrate purity before marriage and and fidelity within marriage. And so it is just a a day. We have a, a pledge on our website if people go to dayofpurity.org where they can sign that pledge, they can laminate it, they can keep it in their wallet and really it's kind of a this day forward, this is the kind of lifestyle that I want to have. And one of the statistics that we've found in, in doing this research and preparing for this day is that teen virgins who do make this decision and, and keep that that pledge throughout their, their teen years will come up with over their lifetime about a 16% higher average on their income. And so over their lifetime, you're looking at somewhere between, you know, or around $370,000. And so it's just one of the ways that we are trying to set up our youth of of our nation and, and across the world for success in their life and in their relationships and in their healthy lifestyles. Well, and it really stands to reason, doesn't it? I mean, if, if you think about it, um, if kids are willing to uh, refrain from and, and exercise delayed gratification, and learn discipline and to follow and isn't it amazing how how scripture scriptural truths play out uh, in such a positive way when people adhere to what scripture teaches saving themselves uh, mm-hmm. and, and, and remaining pure until uh, they are actually uh, married the the benefits as you pointed out the statistics don't lie we see that they uh, later on in life are are, su- are successful more successful uh, by far, on the average, uh, than those who pr- prematurely engage in in premarital sex. Now, tell us a little bit. We've talked about some of the, some of the statistics, and tell me a little bit. Of, you know, the culture with uh, some of the stories with Hollywood, with uh, this pop culture we live in today, pushing children prematurely, girls especially, Hollywood into sexuality. There really is a need uh, to recognize a day of purity, isn't there? There is a huge need, just as there is the the benefits for remaining pure and, and respecting that marriage relationship. There is huge consequences for activities outside of that marriage relationship. The parents' television council just came out with a study very recently talking about how much of our television has been secularized in and sexualized mm. in the, the 12 to 17 year old age range. Mm. They found that 98% of the suggested sexual situations for individuals that were portrayed as in high school or in these young ages as um, taking place in uncommitted relationships. Um, 95% of them showed the women as approving and 93% were ostensibly and patently unhealthy relationships. And that just leads so many of our young women to to think of their own self-worth 
as their their sexual worth, their ability to be sexy. And that's exactly not, I mean, Hollywood doesn't have it figured out. No. And, um, I got married about two years ago, and it shocked me how much Hollywood did not understand and did not know and did not portray. I mean, they, they portray to sell movies. They don't portray the the actual truth of what's going on and the fact of the matter is we're seeing that in our in our country we have 19 million new sexually transmitted mm-hmm. diseases every year yeah. and half of those occur between the ages of 14 to 25 so our youth are being devastated with nine and a half million STDs and it's so heartbreaking when you look at the emails that I get of the stories that I hear of people wondering you know is it too late what do I do in this circumstance people that are just heartbroken and you realize this is one story and there are nine million more and, and it's never too late is it to uh, to pledge uh, purity even if you've headed down a path uh, in the wrong direction, uh, it's never too late to say from from this point forward, I'm I'm going to listen to what God teaches. I'm going to listen to what my in my heart I know to be true. What's best for me as an individual, for my emotional state, for for uh, physical purposes, for mental purposes, and more importantly, really when you look at the big picture, what's best for society. Now, uh, quickly tell me about now. This falls on February 14th, Valentine's Day. Tell, tell us a little bit about, tell our listeners a little bit about uh, some of the planning, some of the activities, the, the packets, and how they can contact and get involved with uh, the Day of Purity. Sure. Well, we're really excited about this Valentine's Day. We chose that day specifically as kind of a, a pushback to all of the, the sexual and the romantic pressure that's on that day and to just say, you know, it's okay to stand up and say, I'm pure and I'm waiting for that one that some other Valentine's Day I will be able to celebrate with. And so I just encourage people right now now. now is a critical planning time. Um, my church does a father-daughter banquet that is a really special occasion when you see the, the beautiful little six-year-old girls getting dressed up and just cherishing that time with their daddy. It is really a, uh, just a precious mm-hmm. event. Um, a lot of people will wear white on the Day of Purity to, to signify their decision, or they can contact us for a donation and receive a, a white wristband of Purity bracelet. And I just encourage people to to make it personal and to to get the message out. You really are surprised at who else shares these standards because it's not something that we normally talk about. And you will find some people who disagree with you and some people that agree. And finding those relationships is is really beneficial. Uh, Here in Lynchburg, we are just successfully received the support of our mayor, and we're very excited about that. Yeah, and she, um, it is the first city that has taken the step, but Ohio as a state had taken the step prior years. And she joins about almost a thousand other organizations and schools that have contacted Liberty Council and, and and the Day of Purity and say, we want to take a stand. We want to be counted as celebrating the Day of Purity. That's wonderful. And there's, I know there's international interest in England and Kenya uh, and el- elsewhere. A lot of universities across the country are getting involved. And we have a number of partners, over 400 plus uh, organizations that are partnering with Liberty Council with specifically the Day of Purity uh, Proclamation and the Day of Purity pr- Project. Tell us about some of these organizations and this partnership uh, first, and then and then uh, before we go, let uh, again steer everybody to the website and let people know how they can get involved as individuals. Well, we are so excited this year to really reach out to some of our friends that we enjoy working with. CWA has come on board Concerned with this Women project. For America. Yes, mm-hmm. Concerned Women for America, and they are getting the word out to all of their states and encouraging them to spread the word as well to their state of affiliates and um, World Congress for Families yeah. has been a huge supporter in Truth for Youth Bibles. It's one of those topics and issues that resonates with so many people yeah. that there are a lot of groups that step forward and, and help us out in ways that we really appreciate. Well, the issue is transcendent and mm-hmm. pe- people are starting to recognize that decades of, uh, as as scripture says, woe to those who call evil good and good evil. And we have a pop culture. We have a culture now that has embraced evil, that calls Mm -hmm. evil good and good evil. Those who choose to remain virgin are mocked. mm -hmm. And our culture is definitely paying the price. There's, depending on the studies, somewhere between 14.7 billion and almost $16 billion each year 
that is spent on the treatment of STDs. And that doesn't, I mean, that's just the physical treatment that leaves out the emotional, the psychological. And especially people in my generation are, are finding out that there's so much casual hooking up or yeah. friends oh, with yeah. benefits that once they do take that marriage step that they cannot actually connect with their spouse and it really um, it's just time to stand up and for us to, to make a difference Well Amber, congratulations terrific job uh, in, in taking the helm here on the Day of Purity folks, to find out more, go to dayofpurity.org, this is a project of Liberty Council, you can also go to lc.org to learn more about Liberty Council but it's Day of Purity dot org find out how you can become part of the day of purity and sign on to the day of purity proclamation you have been listening to matt staver of liberty council our hope is to encourage and inspire you to stand up for your faith family and freedoms we can accomplish a lot when we work together get informed and get involved today Sign up for our free monthly newsletter, The Liberator. We will send it out to you free of charge. Stay informed with our Liberty Alert email update. Just click on the website at www.lc.org or call us at 1-800-671-1776. Tune in next time to learn more about your rights right here on Faith and Freedom.